Waste management is changing. Our industry is mainly focused on disposal, landfill, incineration and intermediate methods like mechanical biological treatments. But these traditional solutions are expensive, unsustainable and don't address the real problem. In fact, they encourage an ever-increasing mountain of waste. It makes better sense to create less waste. And the way to do this is to increase recycling rates through smarter ways of collection, ways that ensure maximum resource recovery. For the new age of resource recovery, a new force in this municipal marketplace, May Gurney, providing traditional skills along with a truly sustainable approach. May Gurney is an infrastructure support company providing services to public authorities and regulated industries. The company also delivers essential environmental services to three and a half million people across the UK on behalf of local authorities. Residual, commercial, clinical and bulky household waste collections, commercial recycling collections, the management of household waste and recycling centres and street cleansing services. European Union and government targets have already driven up recycling rates and were a necessary tool to start the change in our approach to waste management. But the availability of funding to avoid penalties and to hit those targets has encouraged some costly solutions. Solutions which won't deliver the best environmental or economic outcomes. Essentially there are two approaches. There's co-mingled collections where materials collected, mixed and then sorted out later at a materials reclamation facility. And there's source separation collections, which is the method that we at Magurney advocate. We must aim to achieve more with less, to reduce the carbon impact of waste management, create opportunities for employment and involve local people and communities. The focus must be on resource recovery. The key advantage of source separation collections is that it maintains the value of the materials. The material we collect, because it's relatively uncontaminated with other material streams, can secure high prices in the marketplace, typically uh, being sold to UK-based reprocessors. The most sustainable waste management solution to the challenge facing local authorities is to maximise the diversion of recyclable resources into closed-loop recycling. It's turning the material that we're collecting back into what the original product was. So a glass bottle that goes through our system will eventually end up as another glass bottle. And to maximise the energy recovered from organic waste. Rather than seeing waste as a problem, we should see waste as a resource. And it's about recovering these uh, materials and indeed the energy from food waste. And that's the, the way of looking at uh, the waste management problem in the future as an opportunity and a way of uh, obtaining the resources that we need. When this is done well, residual waste is dramatically minimised and we can truly claim to be doing more with less. Source separation has often been regarded as overly complex and expensive, but this is not the case. The amount of energy required to create a glass bottle out of a glass bottle is a fraction of that required to create it from the virgin materials. And the key thing here is it saves money and it also saves carbon, so it's got a very positive climate change impact. The overall system costs, including disposal and treatment savings, are less with source separation. In the west of England, May Gurney works with the Somerset Waste Partnership, which includes the County Council and its five district councils, to deliver their award-winning recycling and refuse collection services. The collection systems we've got, they were selected after very careful consideration, comparing lots of different, uh, different options, looking at what sort of services we provided, and also, though, after a very comprehensive process to select the contractor to provide the services to us. The best prices we got uh, back for us was with a curbside sort for our recycling collections, and uh, that is uh, one of the strong reasons why we're doing this. So not only is it the best service, but it was also the best value, best price service for us as well. The results speak for themselves. There's been the downturn in the market, the credit crunch at the end of 2008. We've had no problems. The reprocessors that we supply very much still want our materials. We've had no difficulties with our materials continuing to be supplied uh, for recycling. Somerset has the lowest residual waste per capita in the country. And the performance of its most highly developed service, Sortit Plus, is breaking records in trial areas. Last year we uh, achieved a 51% recycling rate, which was the highest rate for a county unitary disposal authority area in the country. Rather than co-mingling materials, a simply constructed vehicle allows material separation at the curbside. 
The vehicle is designed to take recyclable materials and food waste on the same collection. And the vehicle has a much lower environmental impact and cost than a conventional refuse collection vehicle. The system also allows additional waste items to be collected as a service develops. In Somerset, the introduction of weekly food waste collections has had a dramatic impact on overall waste and residual waste tonnages. The weekly recycling and food waste collection targets up to 85% of the household waste stream. This has allowed the residual collection service to be carried out on alternate weeks, without creating problems or raising objections from residents. One of the biggest controversies in the waste management industry at the moment uh, and in local government is about alternate weekly collections, AWC. And typically this will mean that your refuse is collected one week and the following week your recyclables will be collected. Now actually we think that's the wrong way of approaching this problem. Now, food waste is the biggest problem that a household has. They'd like to get rid of it as frequently as possible. They don't want it hanging about for a fortnight. So we're collecting it weekly on the same vehicles as the dry recyclables are collected. There's a small food caddy for inside the kitchen and, and uh, you can transport that into a larger food caddy outside. So that again is really convenient and that's collected every week. That was really handy because it's weekly because I think when you first hear about th stories like that you have uh, sort of preconceptions and when you get rid of it all in a week you know there's nothing to complain about. We actually collect less food waste with the food waste service in place than we previously were measuring was put out in the refuse uh, bin. It's quite significant, 20% uh, or more less food waste with the, new, uh, with the new collections and that's great because it means people are producing less waste in the first place and that's the very best thing to do, even better than recycling. Plastic and cardboard are also collected on the Sort It Plus rounds. Friends of, uh, of mine at work know that we're on the uh, pilot scheme for um, recycling cardboard and plastic bottles at home. They're particularly jealous about that because they've got to uh, take their, uh, either take the plastic bottles and cardboard down to the recycling centre um, or sort of ram it into their bin with the rest of their, their rubbish, which is obviously, you know, not ideal. So they're particularly jealous that we're on this scheme and we feel uh, quite lucky, really. The depot stores recyclables in simple bulking bays. This maintains the separation and purity of the materials and prevents cross-contamination. These materials are shipped directly to reprocessors. Paper from Somerset and all other May Gurney contracts is transported to Aylesford Newsprint in Kent. Food waste is currently processed in an in-vessel composting facility and returned to the land as agricultural grade compost. Food waste is increasingly recognised as a source of energy. An anaerobic digestion can make a significant contribution to Britain's energy needs, producing gas for electricity generation, vehicle fuel or the grid. So has the change to a source separation method proven to be a difficult one? It can potentially be labour intensive, but this is actually a worthwhile activity. This is recovering resources and energy from the waste stream, uh, rather than simply putting money into collecting waste and throwing it away. Um, traditional refuse collection isn't free and the thing about recycling is that it actually does uh, abstract some value from, from the waste stream and actually as population pressures and energy scarcity increases in the future the value of what we're trying to take out of the waste stream will increase. The environmental benefits from recycling more and having high quality end uses for, the, for those materials are, are great. Um, we've recently published an end use register of where all of our materials go for recycling. So last year we recycled about 137,000 tonnes, a very large amount of waste. The carbon savings are, are equally high, very, very dramatic. So about 118,000 uh, tonnes of carbon were saved by by that recycling that occurred and that's a result of the energy saving in, uh, in manufacturing processes making a big contribution and also by not sending the biodegradable materials to landfill where they would give off greenhouse gases contribute to, uh, to climate change. I can't think of anything negative to say and um, I think that's probably a good start if you've got anything bad to say about it and we've been doing it for about a year it's no effort just sorting as you go and putting what, something in a plastic bottle in a plastic bin it's six inches to the right so it makes life easier, if anything. The overwhelming majority of people say these new collections are better than previous and even higher say it's easy to use as well. So about 90% of people say the service is easy to use. I think if the whole system is designed in a way that encourages people to recycle, 
it is actually possible to get well beyond the 50% target and potentially to match uh, the best performing areas in Europe, which have got 70% recycling. So I think that's eminently possible using this kind of methodology. We did find a, a very common ethos culture between uh, what Somerset Waste Partnership wanted to achieve and what May Gurney was offering to us. Um, it did shine through in the uh, tender which they submitted to us. We were looking to deliver services in the same way and provide them for the same reasons. And, yeah, that was a, a strong reason as well, um, there was a good fit between us, uh, which, is, uh, which has been very beneficial and means we want to keep developing the recycling services in the same way. We've got a shared interest in continuing to achieve more. May Gurney is leading the way in resource recovery, pioneering a method that's proving as popular for the local community as for the local authorities that use it.